What's good, YouTube? Happy Boy 92 here, back again, once again. And today, people, today we are back with some more Soul Silver for you guys. Uh, before we get started today, I wanted to go over a few things about the series and whatnot. Uh, first of all, number one, black and white this week um, will not happen. It's not gonna happen this week. We're gonna have all Soul Silver all week long. So if you enjoy Soul Silver and you can't wait to get a fix of it out your system, God damn, yeah, like motherfucking crap, yeah. yeah. I don't know what just happened, <laughs> but if you enjoy it, uh, we will have five episodes up this week. This is, of course, the second episode this week so far. Uh, Black and White is not canceled. It's not canceled. It's just Chris and I couldn't get together to uh, record any at all. Um, kind of similar to two weeks ago, you know, our schedules did, didn't connect. You know, she was doing a whole bunch of uh, pack stuff, coming back from packs, and um, I had Bioshock last week. Um, uh, I know last Sunday, a week from yesterday, uh, I did the update video and asked you guys if you wanted me to do a Bioshock Let's Play, and a lot of you said yes. Uh, only problem was that uh, the schedule for the channel is already pretty packed, so I just kind of rushed through Bioshock, and all of it's uploaded. Um, it's it's 20 parts, so if you guys want to see uh, a full Let's Play, Bioshock Infinite, amazing game. It's already done. Check it out. It's on my channel, all that good shit. So um, we, our schedules just didn't match up. Um, it should be back next week, but for now, um, it's Soul Silver is just going to take its place for this week. So if you guys have been missing out on some Soul Silver, you go get some this week. Now, here's my other dilemma, though. Here's my other dilemma. I know you guys are just standing here looking at me and for alligator. Look at for alligator, dude. That dude is a monster. Look at him on the screen. God damn. Anyways, um, the only dilemma that I have, um, you guys know who the two final members of my party are that I want to get, Lugia and Magmar. The only issue is is that Magmar is somewhat difficult to catch, in the sense that he's only available during the morning or the daytime and as you can see on your screen right now it's motherfucking midnight or some shit like that let me see what time is it actually midnight almost it's military time so it's almost midnight um so we're screwed in that sense you know it's not gonna be daytime for another couple hours so i won't be getting magmar in this episode i do want to get a magmar though so that's that's what i'm saying that's that's part of the dilemma is that i can't catch him right now and once I do catch him, it's going to be a whole shit ton of off-screen training to get him up to par with the rest of the team. You know, I've, I finally sat down and looked up, you know, where to find him, how to get him, all that crap. He's available in Burn Tower, right here in Ecritique City. I mean, we knew that from the jump. He's also available... Shut up, Huey! I'm talking! I'm not going to answer that phone call. Uh, he's also available in the Safari Zone, where we were at last episode. And, again... Day and morning time is the only time he's available, so even if we went to Safari Zone right now, we still couldn't catch him, so I'll have to um, do some recording. Maybe the next episode I'll do somewhat during the day time so that um, I can actually get a hold of him and catch a Magmar, because I mean, like I said, really outside of Magmar, who else is there that I could use? Volpex and Ninetales? I mean, I've already gone over multiple times. So I'm not trying to use them, you know. It's just it just doesn't fit me as a uh, as a Pokemon. Um, so I don't know. 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 So Magmar, he's he's on the way. He's just we got to get the right uh, settings and all that crap. And then of course we do a whole bunch of off-screen training and all that good shit. But um, what I just said about you know Nine Tails and Volpex just not being my type of Pokemon, that's gonna be a nice little segue into today's question of the episode of course being if you were a pokemon which pokemon would you be simple as it gets um you could also like twist it around and be like oh if pokemon were real you know which pokemon would you train you know yada 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 but, but no, you know you no know scratch that scratch that scratch that go back to the original question <laughs> forget that i just said that if you had to be a pokemon which pokemon would you be and don't just pick your favorite pokemon Pick an, a god on his truth. Which Pokemon would you be? Now, for myself, of course, I want to sit here and just jump off the handle and say, Gengar! Gengar, 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 Gengar. Mount Mortar, Waterfall Cave inside. Let me see. Let me check, let me check, let me check, let me check. Ah, oh, Golbat. Fuck you, Golbat. Okay, so we don't need... Um, damn it, I wish I had some goddamn repels. Um, but you know what? This is good training for, uh, for Alligator. 
Because Frog Alligator still knows goddamn water gun. It's a motherfucking gigantic alligator that we have following behind us. Frog Alligator is like, actually, you know what? Frog Alligator is one of the biggest Pokemon available. He's like seven and a half feet tall or some shit like that. And outside of like Legendaries and Gyarados and Onix, there's no Pokemon that's bigger than Frog Alligator. But anyways, um, I don't, am I, do I need to go into Mount Mortar? I don't remember if I could just uh, swim straight across the, uh, the thing back there. That's what I'm gonna try and do before I before I brave Mount Mortar. I'm gonna try and swim across the thing. I don't think that's gonna take me straight across. I think I'm getting that mixed up with um, what you call it from uh, third gen. What the hell is that fucking city outside? <sighs> Mallville, Mallville. From Mallville to um, the the route to the right, you can just surf right across. I think I'm getting those two mixed up. But um, but back to the question: If you could be any Pokemon, which Pokemon would it be? Which Pokemon suits you best? Um, I want to say Gengar, and I want to sit here and say, you know what, in all honesty, that's true. <sighs> I do want to say that, I do want to say that, because Gengar, he's like that cool, that chill, that laid back dude, that everybody, like, who who hates Gengar? Can you honestly sit here and say that you hate Gengar? <gasps> Suicune. Suicune. We gotta fuck with Suicune. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, Rattata. Go ahead, cut that. Don't you run from me! Don't you run from me! Oh, god damn, you seen. Oh, Suicune! How brave it is! How refreshing it is! How beautiful it is! And how quickly it moves! Lepi! You seem to be around where Suicune would appear. Well, that's okay. My desire to search for Suicune is far beyond yours. <laughs> My grandfather. Quite into myths. I've heard so many stories about Suicune from him. Suicune, I won't stop following you until I found out what you're after. You hear me? I feel like he's shaking his fist right now. You hear me? Well, isn't that just sweet? That little boy with those two hair right there. That was just so sweet. It was just so sweet. You seen Suicune? So sweet. Anyways, um, I keep getting distracted from the damn question. Which Pokemon would you be and why? And think hard about this. Think hard about this. You know, like I said, I, I would, my first go-to answer is Gengar. That's because he's my favorite Pokemon. And at the same time, I could see myself like being a Gengar, but is that really like who I would be? So I don't know. I don't know off the top of my head who who I would be if I had to be a Pokemon. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Who would you be if you were a Pokemon? Think about it. And what the hell am I doing right now? What the hell am I doing? What the hell am I doing? I'm going to... I'm going to continue to go uh, east along this this route. I'm going to come back to Mount Mortar. Because, I mean, unless unless I need to be in here, I'm not going to fuck around. Fuck, went down the goddamn ladder. I'm not going to fuck around with this all that much. And if going to the right is just going to take me to the next city, then that's where we're going to go. We'll come back to Mount Mortar if we need to. Um... I think I said this in the last episode. You guys know that I haven't played Soul Silver or Second Gen period in the longest time, so I don't remember everything um, exactly down to a T. But I mean, I'm sure we'll have to come back to it eventually to do something. I'll, I'll, what, what I'll probably end up doing is after this, I'll look up, hey, what the fuck do we need to go to Mount Mortar for? And by the time you guys see this, I'll already know the answer. But I'll still have like 17 people that all leave a comment saying, hey, Mount Mortar's for this, this, and this. It's like, thanks, bro, but I already knew that. I already knew that. Get the water gun off, bro. Oh, fuck! I shouldn't use water gun. God damn it. I'm not thinking. <gasps> I'm not thinking. It doesn't matter. You snapped out of confusion anyway. Bling. Bling, bling. Every time I come around, just say bling, bling. Mr. Fisherman, I don't know why you think your quillfish is going to stand a chance against my alligator. I mean, look at this. I done bit you once, and you go, nigga. Oh, he's poisoned. Fuck. Fraggy, with level 31. Yeah. No. No. You're not giving you my phone number. This mountain water as well. Waterfall cave inside. Are you a trainer? Please don't. Oh, fuck. There's a lot of trainers here. Oh, for alligator, don't you die on me, nigga. Don't you die on me. Don't you do it. You know, Reno. Uh, let's just hit him with surf. Um, one thing that I do want to do is hold on to uh, Ice Fang. He knows Ice Fang right now. And the reason I want to hold on to that is because the next gym that we have is an ice gym, I know that for a fact. That's one of my favorite gyms. And then the gym after that, I think the gym leader's name is Claire or some shit like that. 
um, and she's got all dragon type Pokemon. And of course, the types that are super effective against dragon are dragon and ice. Um, we have Pidgeotto that knows Twister, which is a dragon move, but in all honesty, I wouldn't feel comfortable enough going to that gym with just Pidgeotto and Twister. So, um, I think I'm going to hold on to Ice Fang for now, and then if we ever need to get rid of it, then we will. But we'll see. We'll see what we need to do. Mahogany Town. We're in Mahogany Town! Yeah, you guys! Yeah, we're in Mahogany Town! Yeah! Mahogany Town! Mahogany Town! I'm telling you, I'm saying Mahogany Town. The fuck? Anyways, let's give Rally a cure to poison and let's go do everybody's favorite activity. And head on up to Lake of Rage. What you doing over here, bro? <gasps> Have you seen this guy? <laughs> With a black cape? <laughs> He's been going back and forth between. <laughs> <laughs> Here in Lake Rage, Lake Rage, saying strange radio waves are being transmitted. <laughs> Who is he, I wonder? What the fuck are you doing at the gym, dude? Let me go in. I want a battle. I want a battle. I want a battle. I want a battle. Just a souvenir shop. Nothing suspicious about it. No need to be alarmed. Right. Right. And this dude's not going to let me go through. How convenient. Hiya, kid! I see you're new in Mahogany Town. Since you're new, you should try on Yummy Rage Candy Bar. Right now, it could be yours for $300. No. No. Oh. Fine then. Yeah, fuck off. Bitch. You, you like how the radio tower is being hidden by the tree? Anyways, let's go find homeboy in the uh, black cape up here at Le Rake of the Le Wow! Le Rake of Lage. Le Lake of Rage. God. But of course we gotta battle people all the way up and down this goddamn thing. And uh, I wonder what the next um, move for Alligator is gonna learn is. Actually, I might um I might check our TM's pocket and see what we have. If he doesn't learn anything at level 32 right now. But I may check that and see, uh... Nope, he didn't learn anything. So let's go ahead and check uh, our TM's pocket and see what do we have that he could learn. Focus Punch, not really a huge fan of it. Iron Tail, maybe. If I had to choose something, I'd choose Iron Tail so far. Drain Punch, nah. Shadow Claw... Mmm, maybe Shadow Claw, and the rest are all HMs. Let's see, which one does more? At 70, 100, the user slashes with a sharp claw made from shadows that has a high critical hit ratio. And then we have Iron Tail. The foe is slammed with a sturdy tail of steel. It may lower the target's defense stats if it hits. Um, well, it's got more power, so let's go ahead and just teach this to, um, for alligator, just to get rid of Water Gun, just to get a stronger move. That's really the only reason that we're doing this right now. So the movie deleted and replaced with Iron Tail. Absolutely. Absolutely. So bye bye water gun. And hello Iron Tail. So Fragator knows a water move, a dark move, an ice move, and a steel move. Ain't that one multicultural motherfucker right there? <laughs> God damn. Um, ideally at Lake of Rage right now, Ampharos would be who we want to use because, you know, he's Ampharos and whatnot. And, you know, we're at Lake of Rage, Water type. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Team Rocket. Prepare for trouble, make it double. Hold it there, kiddo! The toll is $1,000 to go through. Thank you very much. Whoa, I didn't even get to, like, say, hey, I'll pay it. Come on, now. I was thinking about going through the grass to get up there. Well, I'm not going through the next one. You're going to take $1,000 for it. I'm a broke motherfucker right now. Okay, I ain't got no goddamn money for that. Money to go through thousand dollars, bitch. You crazy as a motherfucker. Actually, I don't think there is another one, is there? If there is. I don't think there's one too. But anyways, fuck it. Forget it. It's in the past. They took my thousand dollars. I'll get it back when I whoop their fucking ass up here at Lake of Rage. Need a Reno. Ugh. Let's try out our our Iron Tail and see see how well it does. Oh, it's a motherfucking sweep. No pun intended. <laughs> Fragger is leveling up really easy. Really goddamn easy. And I mean, we're almost uh, 10 levels above. Oh, don't tell me his attack missed. Come on now. I mean, we're almost 10 levels above the, the Pokemon we're fighting, guaranteed, but still, he's sweeping the hell out of these goddamn Pokemon. I ain't mad, though. I ain't mad. I ain't mad. Why you mad? I ain't mad. No, you're not getting my damn phone number. No. No. Well, he's gonna teach me about bills, so sure, you can have my Pokemon number. My Pokemon number, bro. You can have my Poke Gear number. 
I give up. <laughs> I give up. Alright, let's crush the fuck out of her. And bam, we're done. Oh, no. No. We're definitely not getting my number. Alright, so let's keep it moving and get up here to this goddamn Lake of Rage. Everybody in the goddamn mother wants to fucking battle. I want to fight this giraffe rig. I want to kill him. Alright. Oh, God, oh, God damn it! Let's get out of the goddamn grass! <laughs> and just get out of here! Shit! Oh, and of course, homeboy turns around the moment I run past him. There we go. Alright! Slowbro. Oh, Slowbro's kind of cool. I like him. Too bad he had to die. Frogator is fucking shitting on niggas right now. No lie. God damn. <laughs> He's run through all these damn Pokemon, so that's good. I'm happy we got a nice, strong Pokemon on our team. Ooh, Frogator versus Needle King. If that ain't a motherfucking matchup, I don't know what the hell is. Tell me Iron Tail missed. Twice in a row, dude? Come on. Thank you. About to say. God damn. Alright, Lake of Rage, we're here finally. Fishing Guru's house. Let me get a goddamn rod, nigga. Let me get a rod, nigga. The Lake of Rage is actually a great. Oh no, this sounds like an old timer. <coughs> the Lake of Rage is actually a crater made by a rampaging Gyarados. The crater is filled up with rainwater, and the lake was formed. That's the story passed on from my grandpa's great great grandpa. I used to be. And you could catch lively Magikarp there, but I don't understand what's happening. He was a little more um, country than I had planned on, but you know what? Sometimes when it just happens, it happens. Okay, and as you guys can see right there, motherfucking Gyarados. Let's go ahead and scope out the rest of the lake, though, real quick. Who are you? Why do you look all, like, mystical, and your eyes are out there in the edge of the water? Uh, alright. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'll come back up here in a minute, but let's do this shit. Let's take on the Gyarados. The, the Red Gyarados at Lake of Rage. Before we do this... Let's make sure we hit that save button. Always remember to save, kids. Always remember to save. You don't ever want to get caught with your pants down. Wait, how does that relate? <laughs> um, I've had plenty of times where... I forgot to save the damn game. Like, in my Sapphire Let's Play, when uh, I took on, what's his name, Kyogre, and just proceeded to defecate all over his face, and I uh, didn't get a chance to reload the game, and uh, catch him again. <laughs> Let's just bring it back too many members thinking about it. But here we go. Let's go, nigga. Let's go! I don't know why. Red Gyarados, he's like a legend in Pokemon World. It's a female, too. Whoa! It's a shiny Gyarados. It's a female, and it's level 30. Frogator, if I didn't have you, nigga, I would absolutely pick up this Gyarados right now. And I don't really know why I went into this battle with Gyarados out. Oh, not cool. Dragon Rage, dickhead. How would you like an Iron Tail? Fucking A! That's got a 75% chance to hit. You, you're missing way too much with this shit. That's not even that effective. Fuck! Alright, so Fraligator's gonna get swapped out. Or he could die. Oh, he's not dead! Oh, he's not dead! You're a monster! Oh, you're a monster! Swap out, swap out, swap out. Let's swap out for... Ugh, I don't want Anvaros to kill him! I don't want Ampharos to kill him. I'm going to swap out to Heracross. Just to play it safe. Just to play it safe. I don't want Ampharos to kill him because, you know, I could run that risk. Ampharos is level 35. It's a good five levels above. And I could, you know, pull out like a Thundershock. And it would just decimate this Gyarados. Because Gyarados is just straight water. Well, he's water and flying, but still. That's even that's even worse! That's even worse when it comes to um, electricity. So, I'm going to play it safe. He's flying as well. Uh oh, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Dragon Rage. Oh, don't kill me, don't kill me. I don't I don't have anything that's gonna oh, Aero Ace is gonna smash him. Point attack is gonna smash him. <sighs> let's see here. I'm gonna try for a let's just fuck it. I got a fastball. We're like what, five turns in? Something like that? Probably a lot more. Yep. Fuck. Um, the only other idea I have is to swap out to Pidgeotto and try him with a quick attack and hope that the quick attack doesn't kill him. Oh, I hope it doesn't kill him. <laughs> I hope it doesn't kill him. That's the only thing I can think of. So come on, Pidgeotto. Hit him with a weak ass quick attack. Just one more time. I could swap out to. Well, Frailier's got 5 HP. He'll get fucked up, by the way. 
Uh, I was gonna say I could swap out to Frailgate and hit him with like Surf or something, because it wouldn't do that much damage. You know, Water type move on a Water type Pokemon wouldn't do that much. Um, ooh, I could use. Um, fuck it. Let's play it safe. Hit the quick attack. Don't kill him, please. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't. Perfect. Perfect. Red zone, nigga. Red zone. Level 30 Gyarados knows Leer. Be ashamed of yourself. Come on now. Rain continues to fall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. We got a. Uh... Let's try with a Great Ball. Fuck it. We got 10 of these motherfuckers. Let's go ahead. Oh. Oh. Ah. Gotcha, nigga. <laughs> so we caught Red Gyarados. Uh, unfortunately, he's gonna. He, I should say she. Unfortunately, she's gonna be chilling in the PC for the duration of this Let's Play. I know, super sad face, but um, look at the height, 21 feet, 518 pounds, that's a monster if I've ever seen one, so, cool, cool, give a nickname caught to the Gyarados, no thank you, so we caught Red Gyarados and the lake is calmed down, and we got a red scale too, look at that, so now the lake has, oh, who is this, this is the champion, isn't it, with his goddamn flashy ass Dragonite, you think you're cool with your Dragonite, don't you, you think you're cool, you're not looking at this, Relegated with 5 HP. <laughs> oh god, run, 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 run. Okay, I don't think he's gonna ask to battle me because he would dominate me with that Dragonite. But ah, I want to get the hell out of here and go heal for Alligator because he's playing like a straight scrub right now. Ooh, I, w I don't want to use uh, whatchamacallit. Come on, buddy. <clears throat> Alright, we need a good champion voice. Oh, we need a good champion voice. <sighs> he's got red hair and a Dragonite. He owns a Dragonite, so he's got to be fucking British because he's got to be fancy as a motherfucker for order the goddamn Dragonite. <sighs> what if I did like a British version of N? If you guys know from Black and White, um, actually I used N on this Let's Play for uh, Morty in the gym. You know the voice like this. So if I just gave it an English accent, do you think it would fit for the champion? That red Gyarados wasn't acting right, as I feared somebody must have forced it to evolve. Did you come here because of the wild tales? You're Nabby. I'm Lance, a trainer like you. I heard some rumbling, so I came to investigate. I saw the way you battled earlier, Nabby. I can tell that you're a trainer with considerable skill. If you don't mind, could you help me investigate? Sure thing, buddy! Excellent. It seems like the Lake of Rage is Magikarp being forced to evolve. A mysterious radio broadcast coming from Mahogany is probably the cause. And that suspicious souvenir shop. I'll be waiting for you in Mahogany, Nappy. Do you really need to fly to Mahogany? You know what? I'm, I'm a fancy motherfucker too, okay? Look, I got a Pidgeotto that knows fly. Fly, Pidgeotto! Fly to Mahogany! Go! I'm just as fancy as you are, Lance. Dickhead! Yeah, I said it. You're a dickhead. And of course, me trying to be fancy and showing off, goddamn game freezes. <sighs> okay, so we're back. Um, I had to do all that again from where we saved at. Good thing we saved there, huh? Um, I just went and caught the red Gyarados again, so she will be in our PC. Actually, I didn't catch it to see if it was a male or female this time around. But we did catch it, we did get the red scale, we did talk to Lance again, and we're not flying back, because apparently we're not fancy like that, and motherfucking ROM freezes when we do it, so... Fuck. So anyways, we are back and we are going to head to the Lei Poke Center and uh, heal our Pokemon. This time around though, uh, Feraligator did end up fainting in battle and it took me like six Great Balls to catch the fucking Gyarados. Whereas the first time we did it, it was like fucking perfect because it was the first Great Ball and caught it. <sighs> I hate doing shit over and over again. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we're actually going to check in and take a peek at it real quick to see if it is male or female god damn it does it matter if I want to deposit if you give me the option to move then why the fuck do I need to have a deposit option so there's the ghastly we caught before and it's a female female red Gyarados it's so party <laughs> so party anyways so enough of that we need to go and catch up with Lance and I have a feeling that I know where he's at something tells me I know where he's at Who's that Pokemon? Pokemon? 